guys, I'm Kimbria, and you are watching Keeping Up with Kimbria. Today, I'm gonna be doing a very simple makeup tutorial. I have a lot of requests on TikTok of people asking me what I use, how I do my face, do I go to a professional makeup artist? So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve my makeup look. And today, we're gonna be using all drugstore products. It takes about 30 minutes or less, depending on you know everything you do. Let's get into it. For my PCOS girlies, I'm a PCOS girly and I have facial hair around here. You just wanna make sure that your face is clean of hair or it will show through the makeup. However, um, it normally leaves like these dark spots up under my chin and what we're gonna do is we're going to conceal that. So first, you wanna make sure that you have a clean face. That's first and foremost. I like to make sure that my face is hydrated because it is super important to have a nice, you know, nice face up under the makeup. You wanna make sure that you are taking care of your skin. So I use this, just like a hydrating boost. I think I may have gotten this from CVS or something. Not really sure, I know it's a drugstore, but by Neutrogena. And again, I'm just doing what works for me. You guys can do what works for you. I'm just doing what works for me. So we're gonna spray this mist on the face. And I just like to rub it in. Again, just making sure that your skin is hydrated up under the makeup. And this still lets me achieve a matte look. And it does not make my skin oily. See? If you guys see boxes in the background, excuse it. I'm in the process of moving. And also, excuse my hair. I'm about to get it done as soon as I get done with this makeup. And if you guys see me looking down, I am looking at my mirror. It's a little dirty, but makeup. So, first we're gonna do the brow. And again, I am doing what works for me, and you guys can do what works for you guys. I have to keep saying that because I have a lot of girlies who are like, oh, I do it this way, and oh, da 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 Again, I'm just doing what works for me. To start off, I'm gonna be using a um, loose powder. So it is True Complexion. Um, it's by Black Radiant. That's actually one of my favorite brands from the drugstore. And it's just loose setting powder. And what we're gonna do with that is, we're just gonna put it around the eyes. It helps the eyes set. Now that we're done setting, we're gonna go in with a pencil. This is just the NK Makeup. Honestly, got it from the drugstore. Automatic push up and it's a, a liner. So we're gonna go in and we're just gonna line the brow. And honestly, the brows for me is one of the hardest and longest things to do. And with my brows, for the underline, I like to go over a little more, so a little more towards the end of the brow. And then for the top, I like to start about here and then you'll see why. So I just use one of these just to kind of brush through to get the product in really good because again, we have used loose setting powder. And I'm using a black pencil because the black pencil for me matches my hair. I have really dark hair. That is what works for me. Go in as necessary to make adjustments. I'm only gonna do one eyebrow on camera because it's really time consuming when you're trying to record and when you're trying to do. And this is definitely a thing where you have to trust the process because it's probably gonna look a little crazy until you conceal and everything like that. So again, you have to be willing to trust the process. So now I'm gonna go in with the HD Concealer by Nikki K. Again, beauty supply store. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line it. And I've never used this before. Um, probably picked the wrong time to use it, but I like to start up here first, so that way if I have a lot of product, it won't leave a line. So kinda like this, so I start like this just to get the product off. And then, I just kind of line. Let's 
I don't know if I like this one. I feel like it's too wet. It's a Magic Collection and it's concealer, extra coverage, and it is. Y'all see it? Y'all can tell that this is my favorite product because I done used it to death. But again, that's one of those things I just spot. Yeah, that's perfect. My mom is calling. Mm-hmm. All right, Riley, take some of this product down here. And the, what you're basically doing is just like outlining the brow. So you technically are telling the brow what to do. And sorry, I get quiet, guys. I'll be focused. So now I'm just gonna go in with this brush. It's just a straight brush. And I don't know the technical term for this stuff because I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I call it the straight brush because it's straight brush. And it gives it that clean look. I don't really do eyeshadow, but I'm gonna be using this palette. And I am just going to, I really wanna do like a smoky brown. I don't have anything in here that's smoky brown. This may do, let me see. So I'm gonna be using this and then also a red. I don't really know how to do eyeshadow, y'all. But we just gonna. I actually like this brown. Hopefully this don't look too a mess. Now we're gonna go in with the primer. So I'm gonna be using Puff Puff Primer by Elf, and I really like it. It kind of gives you like a matte finish. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our foundation. I actually have a foundation stick. I don't know if I wanna use the Super Dewy or this one. I think I'm gonna use the Morphe and it's called Filter Effect. Cool, but sometimes I be feeling like it leaves you orange. I don't really like orange. If y'all hear something in the background, sound like some water. It's my dog. He's a cute poodle. Come here. Come here. I don't know if y'all can see him. Say hey, look. Say hey, Billy. Okay. I need to be able to see, so I'm gonna use this. It's important to get up under that double chin, honey. If you don't wanna crease up under. I 
I'm gonna be using Revolution Conceal and Hydrate for my conceal. And I was told that a brush does better than a sponge. So, I just feel like it takes much longer. Uh uh, this taking forever. Sorry. So, I used to do this for my powder sealer, but I started using this and it changed the game now. So what I like to do is go ahead and put on my blush. And now we're gonna put on the lashes. I got these lashes from TikTok, y'all. where I got this from. And you just want to line the line with this. I'm not one of those girls that contour their nose at all. But we're gonna see. Hopefully I don't pick it up. The right thing. Finish. I would do a super detailed one, like 
maybe tomorrow or something. So I had to go in another room so you guys can actually see the makeup in good lighting. This is it. I hope you guys like it. Now I'm about to do my hair. Thank you guys so much for keeping up with Kimberia. I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. I will be doing another tutorial for you guys where it's not rushed towards the end, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. 